Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to perform a hard reset to bypass your forgotten pin, password, or pattern. So you may have noticed that when you tried to unlock your phone and you tried different combinations that they didn't work. This is because you need forgot your pin, password, or pattern. So if you want to bypass that, you may need to do a hard reset. Doing this hard reset will erase all the data from your device, so keep that in mind. So if you're comfortable with that, we now have to start accessing the recovery mode menu. And because we can't turn off our phone so that we can access recovery mode, we'll have to force a shutdown and then access recovery mode from there. To do that, it's fairly simple. Press on the side button and volume down button until your screen goes black. And then once it goes black, you move your finger from the volume down to volume up. So let's try that with you. So side key and volume down, press. Ignore this power off menu that will appear on your screen and just continue pressing until the screen goes black. Once it goes black, move your finger to volume up. Continue pressing until you see the logo appearing. Then you can let go. So then from here, just wait for the recovery mode menu to load. And then once it's loaded, you then want to use the volume down button to scroll down and highlight wipe data slash factory reset. So select wipe data slash factory reset. And then select it using the side button. Confirm that you wish to perform a factory data reset. So confirm that. And then you should see at the bottom, it will tell you data wipe complete. So once you've seen that appearing on your screen, you want to highlight reboot system now and use the side button to select it. And then from here, wait for your phone to restart as it erases all the data that was currently on your phone. So once the data has been erased completely, you'll then need to go through the setup process again so that you can be able to access your phone. So wait for the reset to complete itself. And then from here, now let's start setting up our A16 all over again. So choose your language, then continue by tapping on start. Then from here, agree to the end user license agreement as well as the privacy policy. And then you can choose to set up using another phone or you can just set up manually. So I would suggest choosing set up manually to make your life easier. And then you now want to connect to our Wi-Fi network. So you choose your preferred network and then type in the password for it. And then connect. Once you're connected, tap on next. So from here, wait for your phone to be, wait for your phone to be prepared. So it may take a few minutes. And then from here, you can choose to copy apps and data from a different device. So just tap on next, or you can choose to tap on don't copy to skip that step. Then from here, 
it will start checking for your information and because we did the hard reset to bypass the forgotten pin password or pattern it's a good idea to log into your google account that you had added previously onto your device so you can just type in your email address and account password And then once you've done all of that, you then want to agree and add this this account onto your A16, as well as you're also agreeing to the privacy policy and the terms of service. If you didn't have a Google account, you could always just skip that step. And then either way, you'll be brought to this Google services page. And then on this page, you need to agree to any Google services that you'll get when you're using the A16. So tap on accept. And then you'll be prompted to create a forgotten a pin password or pattern. This is if you've added your Google account. If you haven't added it already, then they'll prompt you to enter in your account details so that you don't need to go through the step. So tap on skip if you're okay with that or if you decide you want to add another pin password or pattern, it's up to you. So skip, then wait for it to check. You can continue with the Hey Assist uh, Google option, or you can just tap on skip and set that up later. So let me skip again, and then wait for your phone to be uh, prepared. So from here, you'll be prompted to sign into your Samsung account. You can choose to sign in, or you can just choose to skip and set it up later in settings. Then you'll be told all the services you get with a Samsung account. Again, if you want some of these services, just sign in or you can skip and do that later in settings and then agree to the terms and conditions. Anything else is optional. So it's up to you to decide if you want to follow through with that or not, and then agree. Uh, you can choose to enable or disable the customization service. It's up to you. And once you've done that, tap on agree. Then choose your display mode, either light or dark. It's up to you. Then tap on next. And then just wait patiently. You'll be prompted to get any recommended apps. So it's up to you to decide if you want to install that app now, or if you don't mind, you can just install it later. If you go to the Galaxy App Store. So for example, Smart Tutor is a recommended app. If you want to install it, leave it uh, selected. If you don't want to install it, deselect it. It's up to you. And then tap on next and then finish the setup by tapping on finish. Then you'll be prompted to install some recommended other recommended apps. You can choose to continue with the installation or you can just skip that step and you'll be then directed to the home screen of your A16 that you've successfully bypassed the forgotten pin, password or pattern. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.